One thing I love about my job is that I get to review new products every day. So every two weeks we have a product review where we have distributors, retailers, um, our staff. We have people that help us evaluate new products, whether that's in person, uh, via Zoom. We figure out what products are going to sell, what's going to sell best, and what's going to make our distributors and our retailers the most amount of money. Uh, that trend spotting aspect is one of the things that I enjoy most. But what you want to know is when we're looking at a product, what we're looking for specifically. Now, one of the things that you can't change is the demographic and the area which your product sits. So if you're a popcorn product, we know from experience, popcorn products, cotton candy products, you know, you're literally shipping air across the country. So if you're manufactured in California in a, you know, a niche kitchen, um, shipping that product to New York is not going to be logistically feasible. And when we're looking at that product, if we're looking for national coverage, it's probably not going to be something that we're going to be interested in, even though it may be the best cotton candy in the world, you know, logistically, it's just not going to make sense. So that's one of the aspects that we look for. Next, we look for the most obvious thing. What does the product look like when it's on the shelf? So we put it on the shelf. We take a look at how it merchandises, where the versatility in merchandising is going to be. Can it be put on a clip strip? Can it be put on a, um, a case in the aisle? Is it going to be um, set on the checkout counter? We're going to need to know where it merchandises, what kind of uh, space it takes up, and is it going to be a fit for a grocery store, a convenience store, a truck stop, travel center, um, or a skincare store? So all different aspects of the product, depending on where it's going to be merchandised and what kind of store it's going to be going into. Um, one of the biggest things that is really important now is what's in the product. And that determines who's going to pick it up. So if it's a USDA certified organic product, you know, we're going to be able to jump a lot more hurdles than if you're not USDA organic certified. And I know it's a headache. I know it's expensive, but that's one of those things that we look for when we're looking at a new product. We're looking at the end goal and figuring out how far can we kick that ball? How broad can we spread it? And where are the most applicable areas of the country that's going to do best with it. So health products usually go from the West Coast to the East Coast. Um, innovative products, like uh, if you have a brand new lighter uh, that's going to be in smoke shops, you know, we're going to be able to target smoke shop distributors throughout the country. It doesn't really matter if we go West Coast to East Coast or South to North. It's really about the market spread on that. So figuring out where the product's going to be merchandised in the store, what it looks like when it's on the counter, if it's going to be applicable in the stores that we're selling it to, and if there are any copycats, you know, if there's five other products coming from China that are exactly the same, it's probably not going to be competitive enough and have the margin that our distributors are looking for. So figuring that all out is part of our review before we ever get to the step of discussing the price, discussing whether logistically it's going to be a good fit in the warehouse that we have it allocated for. So it's really about how the product looks, if it's a beverage or um, food product, how it tastes, and how it's going to be merchandised or displayed in the store. Those are some of the most applicable things that you need to know when approaching a distributor or a large retailer buyer um, with a new product line.